Deflection of cantilever beams. What is a cantilever beam? How to calculate the deflection of a cantilever beams based on different loading arrangement? All those will be discussed today. I am Prasad from Structural Guide. Please subscribe our YouTube channel. You may get the notification on new videos. What is a cantilever beam? A beam that fixed at one end without no rotation and free to rotate at the other end is called the cantilever beam. In the continuous beams also can be considered as a cantilever beam when it has a one free edge. It starts from free edge and then it support from the column at next edge. So you can see in this figure also this point also this point also can be considered as a cantilever beam support. So this is support. So this is a free end. So this is the cantilever beam. So it's continuous beam. One edge, what one edge is free, and this edge is supported by the column. This can be considered as a cantilever beam. How to calculate deflection of a cantilever beams? Here I have shown shown two examples. First one. A cantilever beam loaded with at H. Next one, cantilever beam loaded with uniformly distributed load. Case one, so the cantilever beam loaded with loaded at H. You can see here, load is at the H. So what's the deflection? You don't want to worry much. There are equations for each and every case. When you have a load at edge you can calculate the maximum deflection by f l to the power 3 divided by 3 e i here the e is the elastic modulus and i is the modulus moment of inertia so you know the l span f force applied on the beam so with that due to this force due to this force you can calculate the deflection from this equation now let's come to the next example when you have a uniformly distributed load how to calculate it's also easily you can calculate when you have uniform load the deflection or the maximum deflection equal w into the power 4 divided by 8 ei here e is the elastic modulus and i is the moment of inertia and the w is the uniform distributed load or that is kind of a line load and L is the span right now in a, in a, this kind of a beam W you have to consider with the weight of the beam also you have to consider applied load plus the weight self weight so in this example previous one we only consider the applied force now if you have a beam having a certain self weight so if you are going to calculate total deflection you have to cons consider both this this deflection for the point load and you have to consider calculate the deflection from this equation for the self weight so w you have to consider the unit weight per meter length of the cross section of the beam for for the beams you have to calculate the its unit weight per meter length and with that you can calculate for the deflection for the beam and then you can calculate the deflection for the force then you can find the total deflection in a structural design you may not go with this procedure but you may limit the span and depth ratio according to the British standard they have given span and depth ratio limited limiting values in addition to the limiting deflections so for, for simplicity you may use the span and depth limiting values for the deflection calculation to limit the deflections that eventually limit the total deflections as we discussed in this section so when you have a other type of loading arrangement how do we calculate the deflections so you can refer this table for different arrangement of loadings the method of calculating deflection in addition to deflections, uh, we have given the rotations and all other parameters as well. But you can refer the last column here to calculate the deflection. This column, you have given the deflection of each kind of a loading 
arrangement if we apply the moment at edge if we have different loading conditions varying loading uniform load like we discuss or load at them somewhere not at the edge there are different different cases in those cases you have the method to calculate this deflection so we have equation given there so you know the parameters you can substitute them and get the value of the deflection with that we end the today discussion today we discuss about deflections calculations of beams so i hope that you have now aware the method of calculating deflection of the beams thank you very much we meet again for a new video